In this session, we're going to look at creating a form and a subform. What this allows us to do is cycle through the parent form and show the planets and their corresponding moons will show on a subform. So we're going to create a relationship between two forms that act a little bit like a query, but it gives the user lots of information and relevant information to the parent query. First of all, to do this, we need to create a form for planets. So we're going to head up to create and we're going to use the wizard. It's a reminder that you change the wizard output at the end so it looks more personalized, but this is the quickest way to create one. So once you've selected the correct table, so in this case we've got table planets, I'm going to select all forms, click on next, we're going to use the column view, click on next. Remember to change the form name from TBL to FRM for forms. We're using the Hungarian notation FRM and also the camel case one where we start with lower case letter and then every word after that, it starts with a capital. And we want to open it at the end in the view and click on finish. You notice it's created our form for us. Now, to create the subform, what we need to do is create a form for the moons. And once again, we're going to go through the wizard again. So we're going to add them all. But this time, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the planet name. Because when we create the subform, it's already got the planet information such as Earth at the top, then we just want a list of moon. So we don't want to see planet name like um, Venus, 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 etc. So make sure that data that's being presented is not repetitious. So I've just moved, moved that out. So we've just got the moon name and also their mass. Click on next. Also in the view, we're not going to use um, the column view, we're going to use the data sheet view. So it looks like a list, much the same as what a spreadsheet would look like. Once again, we're going to use FRM moons and click on finish. So here's our list. Now you notice at the moment, all the moons are listed. So there's Earth's moon and that has a mass. So what we want to do is place that as a subform of the main form. Now to do that, what we need to do is edit this form view of the parent. And first of all, what I'm going to do is change the name. So remember, make sure you um, change titles, etc. You can adjust the box sizes. Sometimes you've got to move the form information down, then you can slide things up, and then you can move the footer back up. Sorry, the details back up. What I would also like to do with this, I need to make some room on my form to actually put the subform. So I'm going to move the picture of the planet up to the right hand side. The other thing I'm going to do is remove the label. I'm just going to cut that out with the command X. And that way it's now removed and we're still going to have the planet information and I'm going to have the picture here. And now I've got space at the bottom for my subform. Now to make a form a subform, we just grab the subform and we drag that across and let it go. Now we also don't want the label on this one. So we're going to select that again and click X. And now we're just going to go up and we're going to have a look at this by clicking on home in the view and we can now see earth and the moon. Then I click on the next one. So when we get to Mars, we can see the moons of Mars. So as you can see, the form is very intuitive. We've got a parent form, which is the planets and then a sub form, which is the moons. To see how this works, let's go under the hood of this. So we're going to go back to the design view. And this time we're going to bring up the properties of the form. So I'm just going to right mouse click and bring up properties. Now at the moment, underneath data, we can see there's a table relationship, record source and the table they come from. When we select the forms or the subform, we can actually see the record source, with the, which is moons. But also you can actually see the link here between the link master field, which is planet name. And also the link child field, which is planet name. Now those two linkages come from our file relationship diagram where planet name is actually linked to planet name. So because we've done the file relationship and if that's not there you can actually drag that across and then enforce the integrity. This has already been set up for us in the background because Access knows that it exists. So when we create the form and subform, Access actually creates this for us. Now notice that we've got the outside of the child selected. If I select the inside form, you notice that the information is different. And it's the same as if I select a field, 
me scroll down a little further. Scroll down here. If I select the field, they change again. So there are three different selections. You've got a field selection or an object on the stage. You've got the form selection. And then for the form subform, you've got to select the outer boundary. And this gives us our form subform. So that's an important thing to remember. And same with our main form. We can select the main form information, get the properties of the main form, or we can actually select individual objects. So this is a label, so it doesn't have any properties, but it does have some formats and we can change that around. But well, we select the field, it does have data and a link to a table, and we can adjust those as we go. So at the end of this, we have a form and subform that we, the parent form, which is the outer one, controls the child form, which is the inner one.